what I would like to see is a, a very clear explanation as to the agenda items for the administrations that are unable to attend the working the study groups and the working groups or even the CPM for them to be able to have a very good understanding of what exactly it is they're agreeing or not agreeing to during a WRC. Is there a real danger of that then, that a lot um, of stuff is happening, being decided by those who can make it here and other people are being closed out because they, they just can't get here? Yes, exactly. There's a, there's uh, in all the regions, there's uh, country, there's administrations that can make it to all the working groups for various reasons, the economical reasons being, of course, one of the, the biggest ones. But uh, if they cannot make it, then it is, I think it's the responsibility of the other administrations to make sure that they have a clear understanding of what decisions are being made, uh, mostly on their behalf. We're living in a world where we're talking about rolling out broadband internationally. Is that something that you would support? Well, of course. It's, uh, as a matter of fact, in the United States, uh, President Obama has recently uh, made it, uh, say, said that he's, they'll make 500 megahertz available for broadband use within the next 10 years. And that's something we, we all support. And so President Obama sees this as an essential engine of yes. development? It's a develop it's an economical development. It's, uh, it's cultural development for everyone. You see how quickly the Internet has grown in the, the last five years alone. Uh, I was looking around in the, in the meeting room and uh, my first CPM, everything was paper. Everybody had notebooks. Now I look around and there's laptops everywhere. And they no longer hand out papers, they hand out thumb drives. So that tells you it's, it's coming, it's coming quickly.